Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, give an overview of my solar uh, solar system here that I've implemented on the house. I've gotten a lot of questions from uh, friends and family and, and so forth. So um, let me turn you around. This is my, I've got 25, 235 watt Canadian solar used panels that I purchased from Signature Solar. And all of my equipment came from Signature Solar. Great company to deal with. Um, so yeah, there's uh, whatever it is, 5.8 kilowatts array. Um, I built everything out of Unistrut. Um, I'm just gonna hit the over point, the quick points here, folks. Um, I have eight mil thick um, helicopter tape uh, to go in between the galvanized super strut and the aluminum anodized frames of the solar panels that prevents uh, galvanic corrosion. Um, I have every single panel um, grounded uh, with number six wire and um, I use these uh, weeb connectors. Um, they uh, bite through and get past the anodized stuff um, to make a good connection. They all go down they get combined on the other side of the combiner box with a bus bar. They all come down and then there's an eight foot ground rod buried right there. Uh, I've got two strings of eight and one string of nine. The string of nine has individual MC4 uh, inline fuses. The two strings of eight gets combined in that combiner box and um, all that good stuff there. And I ran, um, I ran two runs of 10 gauge um, solar panel cable wire whatever you want to call it up in one and a half inch conduit underneath my shop here and then comes out in front there's the inch and a half conduit comes up here to the house um, this is a 30 amp generator uh, receptacle I put in a few years ago and then in here, let's see, it is 11 o'clock today. It's sunny out, as you saw. And um, this is my little tablet I use for my solar assistant. We're bringing in, you know, almost uh, 46, 50-ish, back and forth, putting 4,000 watts into the battery. Batteries are charging well and fast, 60%. Um, we're putting about 70 six amps into the battery right now so they are definitely charging fast um let me back up here this is my stuff um two five thousand um uh, es's two five thousand watt inverters grow watts from signature solar um there is the little raspberry pi um solar assistant plugs right into the um, grow watt inverters you buy USB communication stuff awesome two grow watt um, um, midpoint transformers auto transformers um, I have DC isolator switch for my panels negative bus bar positive bus bar the positive goes through the DC breakers that those are double lock cables going into the inverters and coming from my battery rack um, this is a square D QO, um, whatever, eight space panel, sub panel, but I use it for a combiner box. I combine my inverters and my transformers there. Original panel, solar, uh, loads that I moved everything over, uh, for the house onto that. Um, my battery rack. This is a 25, 48 volt, 25 amp charger. This receptacle here, see if I can get it to focus a little better. Um, grid power, so I can plug my charger into there if we have a few days uh, with no power uh, and charge my batteries, or I can put my generator in outside, uh, put, fire it up and plug my charger into there. That goes to that generator plug. Um, batteries, like I said, these are uh, double lock cables going into it. I started out with two. 
ended up with four i will have six i didn't like the cables that came with it so i changed them out to four gauge i just have the uh charger through the thing there uh, through the hole up there and just clipped onto the bus bar uh so all we got to do is plug it in and ready to use um i did flip the negative bus bar over the holes all line up and then i feed the negative into the bottom for a little bit better balancing and equalization of all the batteries i haven't had a single problem out of that um and then all the communication cables you know from one in the next and the next Hundreds of videos out there on that stuff to get that working, setting the dip switches and yada. Even Signature Solar has it on their site, really good. And uh, everything's communicating, doing well. Uh, I've had this up and running three and a half weeks or so now. And um, it does have the ability, these inverters, to uh, have pass through grid power. It's not grid tied, all it does is uh, whatever setting you put on your batteries which i have mine is 25 percent once they get to that then it lets the grid power pass through and i know a lot of people probably say it's a little high um i'm just trying to extend the life of my batteries a little bit more and um yeah over the last uh 10 or 11 days uh almost 11 days about uh, five o'clock today i've only used 20 hours of grid power and if you know anything, I am located in Ohio yesterday, even though it looked awful nice and sunny out there today, it's supposed to get close to 70. Yesterday, it was in the 30s, mid 30s, and we had snow and sleet and rain all and a little few peaks of sun, everything. So I've used about 10 or 20 hours of grid power over the last almost 11 days. So um, I'm really happy about that. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. I just wanted to put a quick video out showing my system and uh, I will try to answer any questions um, that you guys have. All right. Everybody have a great weekend. What's left of it. Thank you. Bye.